Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Christina. And in today's video, I'm going to just take you along with me as I clean and reset this playroom. Some weeks I just do a quick clean and reset. Some days I do a deeper clean than today. And then today I am going to need to do a pretty decent clean. I will show you how messy it is in here. And I am going to clean off the chalk wall and possibly put up something new if I have enough time to get to that. I'm not sure if I will, but this served us well for a few weeks, um, learning about trees and the water cycle and rivers. And so that will come down and I will put up something new for upcoming geology landforms and mineral units that we'll be doing the next few weeks. Before I start cleaning this, you just have to see the real state of the playroom right now. So it's pretty bad right now. Like pillows are out of the swing. There are scissors there, which is pretty unsafe. Just, I think, cut curly Barbie hair over there. There's a metal straw, all kinds of really unsafe things. Um, I think this is also scissors under here. Like this is pretty bad. This is worse than our typical. Um, typically I do have them clean up after themselves. It's really my youngest three who do this, mostly my youngest two. But typically I do either have them help or have them clean it up, but it has just been a crazy week. So it's just kind of been neglected or even sometimes midweek, I will come in and just do like a quick clean up and reset because I feel like subconsciously, if a space is really neat and clean, you are less likely to add to the mess. It's almost like putting dirty dishes in like a super clean sink is a little bit harder to just do and leave than if it's like already a pile of dirty dishes. So anyways, this is what it looks like right now. The art station needs to be cleaned off and organized. Again, there's the chalk wall, which really loved it, but it is time to take it down now. Um, yeah. Some of these books need to be pulled out and sent back to the library. I need to put the new books out for the upcoming units and just a general clean and sweep and mop and vacuum and all the things. It is a beautiful fall day outside, so I would much rather just sit outside and read a book, which I have been prioritizing lately, but I feel like it is time to just get some things done now. So here we go. So I typically try to start with getting everything off of the floor first. So doing this allows me to start with like a clean slate. So I take out all of the furniture and everything before I even start to clean anything in this room. So even with the big things out of here, you can see how much is still on this floor. Toys, junk, all kinds of things. So I'm just starting to sweep it all up, starting in the corners and then grabbing things that are not getting thrown out and sorting them and organizing them as I go. One thing that I've really tried to work on is making sure that everything has a place both for myself and my kids to know where things go and while this closet could definitely get cleaned out again it has helped to be able to clean up knowing that it has a specific place for it to go so next I am just working on getting the art station cleaned up and from time to time I dump this entire crayon glue and scissor bin to get out any broken crayons, sort of reorganize things and replace any crayons that need replacing. All right, I'm making some progress in here. I have the floor almost cleaned off and I started working on the art station when I realized that if I clean, finish cleaning the floor and then clean the art station that it would get more junk on the floor and then I'd have to re-sweep it. So I just paused to brew some coffee. I'm gonna keep going until it's ready and then grab a cup to keep me motivated to keep going. There are definitely days I wish this still had the nice, fresh, painted, crisp look to it, but I'm also reminded and thankful that all of this is evidence that there is a lot of creativity 
taking place in this space and real life happening in this playroom and it is functional and stays somewhat organized with the way that we have it. So I'm just thankful for this space for my kids to create and enjoy. got the art station completely cleaned and organized and restocked, swept the floor and I got myself a nice hot cup of coffee, opened this window to get some fresh air in and now I am going to clean and rotate the books in that we will be using this week and next week for school. Some weeks I don't swap out any books or even just a couple books as they still meet the season. However, because we are jumping into a completely new unit and topic, I wanted to just start completely fresh and I really wanted to truly clean these shelves as well. So I'm actually still waiting on some books from the library, but for right now, I have everything here on this left-hand side that is going to go along with our nature studies from Idlewild, as well as a couple of manipulatives and tracing boards and things on the bottom for my littles. These nature and farm anatomies are typically out. I did put this geography puzzle out since we'll be talking about landforms and geology. It just felt suiting. And then the books on this side are more focused on our Playful Pioneers unit from the Peaceful Press and going along with that. And so that is kind of how I organized these shelves this week for now. And the art station is all cleaned and organized and ready for a new week. I find that if we start this way, it's easier for my kids to keep it this way throughout the week. Now on to cleaning off this chalk wall. Sometimes I have a hard time doing it because it takes some effort putting it up there, but I take that time as really a way to bless my family and I even do it as a way to pray and worship and ask God to bless our studies for the upcoming week or weeks that we will be focusing on those scriptures and those concepts as we learn together. I am getting things back in the room now that I have everything cleaned and organized. Now I am just kind of putting the furniture back in in like a different configuration than it was the last time and I try to switch it up to make it fun and interesting and fresh specifically for my littler ones so that they feel excited about playing in here and exploring. As you can see, I did not get around tonight to doing the chalk wall for the week, but that will be something I do tomorrow. So it is pretty early in the morning the next day, but I am taking this time to get the chalk wall done because I never regret doing it, even though sometimes I have a hard time getting started because once I start it, I don't like to stop. I like to just do it. Um, and so my kids like to see me do it sometimes too. And I thought, you know what, instead of it always being a surprise, allowing them to see the time and effort and energy that I put into it and even explaining to them that I do it for them and also as a way and a form of worship to God is not a bad thing for them to see. So for the next three weeks, we'll be using the Idlewild Organic Studies as our nature study and our word studies. So that was my inspiration for what I would put up on the chalk wall this time around. So this little spread from Nature Anatomy that I have on the easel there was my inspiration for 
the visuals on the chalk wall, just the volcano cycle and the rock cycle and this scripture is the first one that we'll be focusing on in our word studies that goes along with our organic studies. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this gave you some inspiration for your playroom or your homeschool room or whatever spaces you kind of have set aside for toys and play things and learning resources. Let me know down below if you like these type of videos so that I know if it is worth doing them in the future from time to time. If you're new here, introduce yourself down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already following me over on Instagram, you can follow me there at rooted underscore home life. I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos. And until next time, stay rooted. Thank you.